Well, hello again, everybody. It's Matt from KenHub. And in this tutorial, we will do an overview of the bones of the pelvis. The pelvis is formed by four bones, which include a pair of hip bones, otherwise known as innominate bones, the sacrum, and the coccyx. The pelvic girdle consists of the hip bones and the sacrum, and its function is to transmit the weight from the upper body to the lower limbs, while allowing the body to stay balanced. The ilium, the ischium, and the pubis, which are the bones that form the hip bone and are seen here collectively highlighted in green, fuse together at puberty to form the innominate bones and are joined by the cartilage found in the acetabulum. The sacrum, which is a major feature of the pelvis, has the following parts. The superior articular process, the wing of the sacrum, the base of the sacrum, the pelvic surface of the sacrum, and the apex. The last bone in the pelvis is the coccyx, which has four fused vertebrae and a single individual terminal vertebra. The exception with this compound structure when compared to all other bones is that it has differences that are classified by sex, both for functional and general developmental reasons. The rest of the human skeleton differs only in size, which is genetically determined and is usually slightly larger in males than in females. The structure of the pelvis is designed to give females the ability to undergo pregnancy and childbirth, while males are able to hold larger and heavier muscles upon their frame. Therefore, it is heavier in men and has more muscle attachment, a narrower pubic arch, subpubic angle, and space between the ischial tuberosities which in turn makes the pelvic outlet smaller. The ilia in women are comparatively more flared than in men, which makes their greater pelvis more shallow. In general, the pelvis is broader in women so that there is ample space for the fetus to exit its mother's body. This video is more fun than reading a textbook, right? If you want more videos, interactive quizzes, articles, and an atlas of human anatomy, click on the Take Me to KenHub button. It is time to say goodbye to your old textbooks and say hello to your new anatomy learning partner, KenHub. See you there!